What's going on guys? Welcome back for part five on this YZ250 build that I'm doing. So today I am super excited because we're going to go ahead and start Cerakoting some of these parts. On the last video, if you guys watched it, I went ahead and powder coated a few of the parts and they came out absolutely amazing. So I'm really hoping to get some similar results today with Cerakote. Uh, but if you look here, these are a uh, majority of the parts I'm going to be Cerakoting. I think this is everything, but I may add a couple parts down the road. Uh, but the reason why I'm choosing to Cerakote some of these parts as opposed to powder coat is just going to be because of the thinness of the coating. So Cerakote is just as strong as powder coat and has some great corrosion resistance to it, uh, but it's so much more thin. So for threads like this or for little clearances on your braking system parts, Cerakote is just going to be a lot easier to keep out of the threads and not and allow the parts to function the way they're meant to. But anyways, the first step I need to do to get these parts ready to be coated is go ahead and tear them down. Uh, the Cerakote does need to be cured in an oven, so I will have to tear the parts down all the way, take out all the little seals and stuff like that, just so they don't melt in the oven. So let's get to work. We have a ton of stuff to do today. Okay guys, so what I was doing here is actually hammering this off with a chisel, which is the most common way to get these uh, lower steering stem bearings off of here. Uh, you can see I got the outer roller part off and the seal at the bottom, but this uh, inner race is stuck on there. So what I'm going to do next, uh, the, the outer edge of it, normally you can hammer on this outer edge to get it started, but the whole outer edge kind of cracked off of there pretty easy. So what I'm going to have to do is lay a nice MIG weld all the way around here and then hopefully that'll be strong enough to hammer it off. Okay guys, so I was able to get a uh, pretty high weld bead on here and hopefully that'll be enough for me to grab to hit this off. Okay guys, well that was a good amount of work getting all these parts torn down. Some of them are a little tricky, but got all of them torn down and then the brakes you could see are a little dirty and some of the other parts have some dirt on them. So what I'm gonna do is throw all these in the parts washer real quick, just get them cleaned off and then I'll toss them in the sandblaster. Okay guys, well as you can see, I just got everything finished up in the parts washer. On stuff like the brakes, there is still some dirt on there that's just not gonna come off until I get it in the sandblaster. The sandblaster will take all that right off. Uh, but I am gonna mask up some stuff here before I put it in the sandblaster, just cause uh, stuff getting down sand into the braking components, you're never really gonna be able to clean all that sand out of there. So definitely gotta mask off some of the components like that. Uh, but I shouldn't need to worry about a lot of the threads on here just because uh, the Cerakote's super th
right guys, well all the parts are clean, so the next step is I'm gonna go ahead, throw them in the oven at 300 degrees for one hour, get them gassed out, and it's getting pretty late, so I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll catch you guys in the morning when they're all finished up. All right guys, well it is the next day here, and all the parts just finished getting gassed out. You can see I put in pretty much all the parts we're gonna be doing. So there's a ton of parts in the oven here, so I'm gonna go ahead, pull them all out, uh, get them wiped down with Eastwood pre-painting prep, and that'll be the final step before I can coat them. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I have two different color combinations I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna organize them by color combination after that and get to coating. Okay guys, I am super excited because we finally got all the prep work out of the way and can go ahead and start coating these parts. What I'm going to be coating here is the shock body and the brake components here, some of the brake components and the two foot peg mounts. I'm going to be doing these parts in this satin aluminum color. I really like this color because it's not super flashy, but it does have a lot of metallic hint. You probably might not be able to see it here, but it does have a lot of metallic hint to it. And then this here is the hardener that will go into it, they'll combine and basically get it ready for coating. But if you guys watched my other project series, you saw I used this stuff on a lot of the similar components and it came out awesome on there. So that's why I'm using it again. Uh, it's super thin, super corrosion resistant. Uh, so if you guys are interested in checking this stuff out, I'll have it linked down in the description to where you can go buy these exact colors if you want to get them. Or you can go out there, they have a great gallery, same as prismatic powders, and you can kind of figure out what color you want from there. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get coating. I'm not going to go super into depth on the process in this video because I already have a video on that that I'll have linked at the end of this one. All right guys, well I think the silver color came out absolutely amazing. If you think so as well, let me know down in the comments. I can't wait to see how it's gonna contrast with the darker color that I chose. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the next batch of parts all racked up and ready to go. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna be using here is called Sokum Blue, and it looks absolutely awesome, but it's just a super dark, deep blue. Uh, it's almost blackish after it cures, so I'm super excited to get that on there, see how it contrasts with the satin aluminum. The parts I'm going to be doing are the triple clamps, brake calipers, engine mounts, and some of the spring retainers here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff coated up.
All right, guys, well, that is going to be it for today. These parts came out absolutely amazing. I couldn't be happier. This satin aluminum uh, is actually really shiny. It might be hard for you to tell on the camera here. And then that navy blue is absolutely beautiful. So definitely comment down below if you like these colors, and I'll see you guys in the next video.